Hello friends, today we will discuss wires in mineral aggregate in a bituminous mix and how to control these VMA. In many cases, the most difficult task or the parameter to achieve in a design of asphalt mixture is VMA, wires in mineral aggregate. Now, what is wires in mineral aggregate? If you take a specimen or a mixture of bituminous mix, then these are the components. You have an aggregate, you have the binder and some air. Now, some part of this binder is absorbed by the aggregate also and that depends upon the permeability of the aggregate. So, this is let us say this part is the absorbed binder. So, this is absorbed binder. Now, let us say this is air wires VA. This is effective binder now, volume of effective binder. This is volume of binder absorbed by the aggregate and these are the effective volume of solid aggregate. Now, this total volume here is Vmb and if you consider the mass, this mass is 0, this is the mass of the binder and this is the effective mass of aggregate. And let us say the total bulk volume of this mixture or the specimen is Vmb. So, Vma will be air wires plus effective binder content that is volume of effective binder content divided by total Vmb. That is the general equation to calculate Vmb. But more readily this is calculated using this equation. Vmb is 100 minus Gmb into Ps upon Gsb. Now here Gmb is the bulk specific gravity of the mix. So, that is total weight divided by Vmb, total volume. Ps is the percentage of stone aggregate by weight of total mix and Gsb is the specific gravity, bulk specific gravity of aggregate. Now, here we use Gsb because Vmb does not consider the water permeable wires in the aggregate. And therefore, it is important to understand that we take only GSB and not GSE. So, one of the design parameters in bituminous mix design is to control VMA. And the role of VMA is important because that provides a space for expansion of bitumen in hot summer and therefore, it should be adequately provided in a mixture. Now, how to control this VMA? There are several factors which contribute to VMA or which affect the VMA. Some factors are minor factors like type of bitumen. If you have a stiffer binder, it can be a neat binder or a modified binder. It will provide more difficulty in compaction of the mixture and that will increase the air wires. This resistance to compaction is very low at a temperature of around 150 to 160 degree centigrade, but it increases as the, the sample cools down. Same is the effect in the field also. If you are not able to compact the mixture at appropriate temperature, then VMA will increase. Air wires will increase and accordingly VMA will increase. The second is binder quantity. There is a small variation in the VMA. If there is slight variation in the binder content from OBC, but if the binder content is very much away from the OBC, either on the left side or the right side, then VMA will increase in both cases. Similarly, the surface texture of aggregate, the shape of aggregate, they also have some effect, but very difficult to quantify them. For example, if you have cubical aggregate, it will be difficult to compact. Similarly, if you have highly angular particles, it will be difficult to compact. And if you are not able to achieve the density, then the air wires will increase in the mixture. 
but there are several certain factors which influence VMA very substantially and one of them is the binder content. Now VMA changes with binder content in a u-shaped curve. This is the binder content and that is VMA. So it basically has this kind of shape. Just reverse of what you get the density versus binder content and reason here also is same that when you add bitumen in the mixture of aggregate it provides lubricity in the aggregates or in the mixture and because of this lubrication effect of binder you are able to compact it in a lesser volume of the mold. When the volume reduces the density increases. When density increases air wires reduces. So that is how VMA reduces with binder content. But there is one binder content above which it starts again increasing. It is because when you are adding more binder than optimum binder content then in that case this the stone aggregate removed from the mixture is very less as compared to volume of binder being added. And this I have explained in my earlier video also when we are discussing how to control air wires in a bituminous mixture. Now if your desired VMA is here, let us say, then in that case you can choose a binder content which is at the lowest VMA because you are satisfying the condition of minimum VMA. But in case your VMA versus binder content graph goes like this, then in that case VMA corresponding to the lowest minimum VMA corresponding to certain binder content will not satisfy the criteria of minimum VMA. Now this indicates that your job mix formula should be changed and you can achieve the desired VMA either by changing the gradation or by change of source of aggregate. But you should never select a bitumen although it satisfies the condition of minimum VMA here, but it is on the dry side, dry side of the optimum binder content. You should never cons consider selecting the binder content on the left side of the optimum binder content or you can say minimum point because this VMA is being satisfied here. Even if your air wires are satisfied, then also you should not consider selecting this as the binder content because it will be too dry because you are selecting a binder content which is on the left side of your optimum binder content and this will be this will render a mix which is too dry and it will be prone to segregation because here air wires will be high air wires will be high at the same time, you should also not consider selecting a binder content which is on the wet side of optimum binder content because that will indicate a higher value of binder and it will bleed under hot summer. It, the mixture will become plastic. The third situation could be when your graph between the VMA and the binder content is completely below the desired line of VMA. That indicates a situation where job mix formula cannot be done with the present aggregate and you should consider the change of source of aggregate. Even change in aggregation will not help here. We should consider change of source of aggregate. This is the desirable graph between VMA and binder content and try to take the binder content, the final binder content which is slightly on the dry side of this curve, not much, very slightly because this U-shaped curve is very flat at this in this region. Therefore, if you slightly change the binder content, we will not change. Second is the compaction effort, compactive effort. There is a role of compaction also 
on VMA. As the compaction effort is increased, VMA will reduce because density will increase. So that curve will be like this. This is the binder content and this is the VMA and you have a mix let us say with 30 blows of Marshall hammer and you have a mix with 50 blows and a mix with 75 blows. As you increase the compactive effort, the density of the mixture will increase and that will cause reduction in the VMA. But important point here is that this binder content at which you get the minimum VMA that shifts on the left side. So as you keep on increasing the compactive effort, this line of minimum VMA will move towards left side of the x-axis or the binder content. That means you can achieve the same VMA, minimum VMA at lower binder content. And let us say you choose a binder content here. You design a mixture with 50 blows. That means you design a mixture for medium type of traffic in the laboratory using 50 blows of Marshall hammer, hammer and place it in the field. If this layer or this pavement is subjected to heavy traffic because of any reason if traffic exceeds the design traffic, then in that case it will provide more compaction in the layer and there will be lesser, lesser space for bitumen to expand and that will create situation of rutting, rutting and bleeding. It can be reversed also. If you take a mix here or you design a mix with the same binder content but using 75 blows. So you are designing a mixture in the laboratory with 75 blows but traffic at site is not very heavy. It's a low traffic. So there will be no compaction because of traffic in the layer. And that will create more wires in the layer and it will give more entry to water and air. The layer or the mix will become stiff because of aging and that is a situation where it will fail prematurely. So it is important that you design a mixture according to the expected traffic in field. Now you can also understand this using the variation of air wires with binder content and that you know that this is something like this. Again this is for 30 blows, 50 blows and 75 blows. As the compactive effort is increased, air wires will reduce. So if you design a mixture at this binder content, let us say for 50 blows and put it in the field but actual traffic is heavy that will reduce the air wires that will reduce the air wires and similarly if you can you can also see the reverse opposite of that that if you design a mix for 75 blows corresponding to this design air wires but the traffic is not very heavy in the field then it will Come to the situation and air wires will be more. That will basically create aging of the mixture and the pavement will prematurely fail. The third is aggregate gradation. The VMA or the binder content will change with the nominal maximum aggregate size also. NMS. Take one example, let us say nominal maximum aggregate size of aggregate gradation is 26.5 millimeter, 
let us say one inch just for the simplicity of calculations and you can keep these spherical particles in a cubical shape like this and there will be eight particles which you can compact here. Eight particles. So, what is the surface area? Surface area of these eight particles will be 4 pi r square into 8 r the radius. So, if you put r as half inch here, you get 25.1 inch square. Total surface area. Now, Take another gradation where nominal maximum aggregate size is reduced to half inch. So, this in the same in the same space you can now put rather than four, sorry, other than two, you can have now four and four this side. So you will have 64 particles in the same volume. So surface area will be 64 into 4 into pi into 1 by 4 square that is 50.3 inch square. So, when you half the nominal maximum aggregate size the surface area is doubled and to coat the aggreg aggregates adequately you need more binder content. And therefore, VMA should increase to provide a space for this binder because air wires are fixed 4 percent. Air wires are fixed, you are increasing the binder content because of nominal size of aggregate. Therefore, VMA should increase. So, VMA will depend upon NMAS also, nominal maximum aggregate size also. It will also depend upon the aggregate condition. If you have more fine aggregate, again surface area will increase. If you have more coarse aggregate, surface area will be lesser and therefore binder content will change. So, when binder content in change, remember VA, the requirement of air wires is same, that is 4 percent or 3.5 percent. So, if you are decreasing or increasing binder content, VMA should increase or decrease accordingly. So, that is how you can control VMA in a bitmas mix. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.